Anyway, what's going on Game Leapers? This is Coach Jigs, and in today's upload, we're going to be giving you the 12.10 updated tier list that will let each and every one of you know who the most broken and who the worst champions of the current patch are. And this will probably stay consistent for a while because this new meta, the durability meta, it has really changed the League of Legends landscape. Some champions have gone from really good to really bad. So you will find out all the information in this video. And if you want to master guys any of the roles, make sure you check out the Game Leap website in the description and comment section because you have the world's best player and coaches uploading original fresh content every single week that is for our subscribers so if you check those links out i guarantee you you will not be disappointed and without further ado let's get in to the tier list now we're going to start with the top lane tier list and in the most broken you can see that we have fiora Jax, kale and swain now one thing all of these champions have in common is insane scaling so fiora with the true damage in her vitals for Jax with divine sundra and just his innate damage kale with her passive and her e especially at levels 11 and 16 and then swain because once he gets leandris and demonic embrace the rift is really his and that's really a theme for the entire tier list guys this late game theme because champions who scale into a game and are better once the game goes past like 20 minutes it's going to happen more often so those early game champions may not be as good as they once were also for the top lane specifically we can see that lots of burst champions are in c tier so akali cannon renekton rumble silas vladimir all of these champions that like to do a lot of their damage quickly and in burst are just so much more worse off because there's more armor there's more magic resist so they can't do what they want to do as often and in low-key broken we will make a separate video on this where i take you through why some of these champions are low-key broken we have azir lilia shen timo and vayne all of these champions just like the most broken they scale really well but just aren't played as much as they should be so to know what to build on these champions and why they work make sure you hit that subscribe button so you stay tuned but just make sure guys if you are in the top lane don't play rise now moving on of course let's go to the updated mid lane tier list and in most broken we have anivia cassidy to Leah and then Vega. So for Anivia, her synergy with Leandri's Anguish is just too good. Because there is more HP in the game and because Anivia has tick damage anyway with her Glacial Storm, when you couple this with Leandri's burn damage, it is just way too OP and this is why Anivia boasts one of the best win rates in the mid lane and in the entire game to be honest. And then we have Kastin because he's such a good scaler and because the meta in the mid lane is really shifting towards mages because they scale so incredibly well, Kastin counters pretty much all of them. Now Talia is here because of the changes and and because she's a mage, her win rates, her stats are just too good not to put her in most broken. And then we have Vega because of his Q scaling and of course his event horizon, which still packs so much utility power. And once again, this late game theme is continuing into the S tier because we have champions like Akshan with Kraken Slayer and Blade of the Rune King. We have Azir with Conqueror and his insane scaling. We have Brand with Leandra's Anguish, Kale who's in here still, Malzahar and Swain, both with Leandra's Anguish and Demonic Embrace. And then we also have Yone here because Yone loves it when a game goes to mid to late game. This is when he can really take over and his early game is a bit more secure now because of the durability changes now in loki broken these champions once again we will get into in a separate video but we have oriana singed talon seraphine tristana ziggs and then zillion and i wonder if you guys can work out why some of these champions are here let me know in the comment section why you think they might be underrated and as far as the worst champions you can pick in the mid lane well akali is here again and there are lots of champions of a similar ilk so we have diana who's very bursty we have aurelia katarina leblanc silas syndra vladimir Zed, Zoe, all of these champions, they don't really deal consistent DPS. They're more about landing one ability and then the rest of them quickly. It's not like they're an Azir or an Anivia with her ultimate ticking. So these champions really aren't performing that well at the moment, but luckily they're not Rise. Now, what about the jungle role in 12.10? What has happened since the durability changes? Well, in the most broken, we have Master Yi, Shivana, Talia again, and then Wukong. Now, Master Yi is here because you can build Kraken Slayer and because there is more HP in the game, guess what? You aren't going to shred people. And Master Yi and Lower Elos anyway has like a 53% win rate, which is pretty ridiculous. He's banned a lot as well, so people know this champion is broken. And we also have Shivana because what you can do is go Frostfire with Demonic Embrace. This combination with the HP and the extra HP from 12.10 that changes, it just makes it too much to deal with. Then we have Talia because of her innate changes, and of course Wukong because he has Conqueror and Divine Sundra. This allows him to get through the HP bars of the enemy team super easily, so these are the foremost broken junglers. Now in S tier, there are a lot of champions, and all of these are either Conqueror based they can build Leandri's Anguish or even something like Eclipse. They just have sustain, scaling, or enough damage to make them work in the current meta. And yes, that is AP Shaco with Leandri's Anguish, not AD Shaco with Hail of Blades and Dustblade or something like that. 
that version is definitely a lot worse. Now in Loki Broken, we have Mordekaiser, simply because he's not picked enough as a jungle. He's very good at the moment in the top lane because your early game is a lot more secure, so you can hit the mid to late game pretty free most of the time. And this theme of bursty champions being bad in 12.10, well, this continues for the jungle as well. This is why Evelyn, Greg is Zed, even Nidley is here as well. And we also have some Gore Drinker champions who we saw so much in recent patches. So we see J4, we see Lee Sin, Xin Zhao. These champions are really the bottom of the barrel at the moment because the game is really about scaling. I know I've said it like 15 times already, my apologies, but that's just how it is. So any champion who wants to get their head in there is going to get peeled off the enemy AD carry really easily. They don't have enough damage to one shot them. So even a champion like Hecarim, he's finding it really hard as well, unlike Edoino. Just make sure you don't play Rise Jungle. Now let's head to the bot lane, guys, and talk about the updated AD carry tier list for 1210. And in most broken, we have Jin, Cogmore, and Lucian. And because the game is more drawn out these days, Jin becomes even more powerful because the utility he brings, which remember his W and his E got buffed a few patches ago, to the team, to the Rift. And then we have Cogmore, who's super busted at the moment because of lethal tempo and the synergy this has with Ginsu's Rage Blade. Now, there are lots of builds for Cogmore, and we might touch on these in a later video. But this champion, because he's so insanely good in the mid to late game, and because lots of enchanters are being picked at the moment and really good, so like Lulu, Soraka, Sona, having these next to a Cogmore makes him super difficult to kill. This is why he's in most broken, and Lucian is here, well, simply because he has scaling in his kit. Ever since Riot buffed his attack damage per level, and also the AD ratio in his Vigilance passive, it gives Lucian the post 20 minute power that he needs to compete in 12.10 as well. So this is why he's also in most broken. Now, just below these three, we have Tristana and Twitch, and in Loki broken, we have Ash. And I think lots of people are just forgetting how good Ash could be in a scaling meta like we have right now. And once again, we'll touch on why in a later video. But as far as the AD carries go, guys, who you shouldn't really play in 12.10, we have Aphelios, Caitlyn, Kaisa, Samira, Zaya, Zeri, and Ziggs. And for most of these, like Kaisa, like Samira, like Zaya, like Ziggs, these champions really love it when they have a CC engaged support. But the problem is, these supports really aren't that great at the moment. So Leona, Nautilus, they've lost a lot of power, and Enchantresses are good. So if you do have good synergy with a Janna, with a Lulu, with a Renata even, your AD carry is going to be a lot better. Also, these champions like Aphelios or Caitlyn, in solo queue, it's very hard to make work. You have to play perfectly, and even if you still do, it's very hard to actually win a game, and they're just bettered by every other AD carry on this tier list. Just make sure if you are an ADC, do not pick Rise or Senna as well. It's a lot better if you pick Senna as a support, because you're really wasting her potential when you pick her as an AD carry. But that was the AD carry tier list, and of course we have the support tier list left. And if we look at this, just like I mentioned, those enchantresses are just broken. Janna, Lulu, Renata, Senna, if you can count her as an enchantress. But these four, cream of the crop, easily the best supports. Because the game is heading to the mid to late game, and these supports, once they have ability haze, they have their shields, their movement speed buffs, everything you would want as a late game AD carry, it's just ideal. Then we have Bard, Blitzcrank, Sona, Soraka, Zeref, and then Zillion. And those last two might be a bit of a surprise, but they do very well into Enchantress supports. Zillion as well is incredibly powerful in the mid to late game because he can keep his AD carry alive as well as anyone. Now in Loki Broken, we have Maokai and then Velkos. And Velkos is in here kind of the same reason as Zerath because he does very well into these popular Enchantresses because he can't really get touched and his poke is very annoying to deal with. And maybe most importantly in the support tier list, we can see that in the C tier, there are so many supports who are good for pretty much the entirety of season 12, but they're now bad. So if we think of champions like Leona, like Nautilus, like Pike, like Rakan, all of these champions have just turned into toilet tier because the durability changes. It means that when you dive in there as a Leona, as a Nautilus, there is no getting out. It's almost like you're a glass cannon because you're engaged no longer means you're going to one shot someone with your Samira, with your Kaisa. It's just going to mean you half HP them. So really the playstyle is just not that effective. Now we also have Time Kench in the C tier and Tarek and you might think but these champions are really good at peeling, which they are, but they just get completely done by the Enchanter support to a super strong right now. Just make sure if you are playing support guys in 12.10, do not pick Pantheon, do not pick Poppy, and don't pick Rise. So those were the tier list guys updated for 12.10. Any thoughts, any comments, any questions, leave them in the comment section. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. If you did enjoy the video, remember to leave a like down below. And until tomorrow, season 12 upload, this has been Coaches. Peace.